I had another one of those amazing weekends that only the company of 300 godless people can provide. As you might recall me mentioning over the last few weeks, I was speaking at Free Flow. That's the biennial conference of the Florida Humanist Association. And holy shit, did they knock it out of the park last weekend. They had such a fantastic lineup of speakers. There was a, a service project for kids with food insecurity. We had a drag show quick before Florida you know, joins in outlawing those. And of course, there was a fantastic community undergirding the whole thing. Now, Heath and Eli weren't there, so we're not going to do the typical top 10 memories type of thing that we so often do after these events. But to be clear, I'm walking away with a lot of fantastic memories. And as is so often the case, several of my favorites took place when the people who were at the hotel for the conference and the people who were at the hotel for the, like, you know, normal Disney type family vacation shit ran into one another. And there were actually three memories that I wanted to share with you regarding that, all of which took place on or near an elevator. So we're, we're staying at this 10-story hotel and the organizers have me on the top floor because, you know, I'm, I'm important. And, and so I'd run up to the room for something on Saturday afternoon and I'm on my way back down on the elevator. This dude gets on with me and he's got his, got his golf clubs there, right? And he sees my lanyard and has no doubt seen several more of these already. So he says, hey, so what's free flow? And there are a couple of ways to go when this happens, right? I've seen exactly this interaction at a dozen different atheist conferences to this point, people asking me or people asking other people that I'm in earshot of. And more often than not, the answer to this question is a very convoluted and evasive sentence that eventually gets around to mentioning atheism, but maybe not by name, right? Something along the lines of, well, it's a conference about science and social justice and humanism from, a, you know, a skeptical and non-theistic perspective, which is an accurate description, right? But it kind of buries the lead. Personally, I go for the more direct approach. So he asks me and I say, it's an atheist conference. And then he goes, what? Because he's certain he misheard me. And I say, it's an atheist conference, like really slow. So there's no confusion. And then we rode the remaining six floors in total and deafening silence, like the kind of silence where if his phone had rung, I think he would have like pulled it out, thrown it on the ground and stomped on it. Now, the second elevator interaction was a bit more dramatic. This came as things were wrapping up Saturday night. And I should say the Saturday night schedule was absolutely loaded at this thing. It started with a dinner and drag show that included an awesome history of drag component. That was a ton of fun. Then some representatives with the Satanic Temple held an unbaptism ritual. And after that, friend of the show, Andrew Seidel, hosted pub style trivia. So all of that had just finished up. A bunch of us are heading upstairs to our rooms. And, and by then, after the trivia, most people had forgotten about the pentagram stamps that so many of them were carrying on their foreheads from the unbaptism ritual. So anyway, we're all congregating by the elevator, drunk and high and shit, looking like it's Satanic Ash Wednesday. All of us wearing lanyards that identify us as atheists or humanists or Satanists or whatever. And along comes the platonic fucking Karen with her two kids and their roller luggage, having just arrived for a fun couple of days at Universal Studios or whatever. And as she approaches the crowd, she goes, would y'all mind not blocking the elevator? as though we're not also just like all waiting on the next fucking elevator and she's not just the last in line. But then there's this incredible moment where everyone kind of turns to her, like these dozens of bepentagrammed faces all staring at her with a sort of anthropological curiosity and we just watch her shrink. She starts pushing her two sons behind her, like through some kind of mammalian instinct. She takes a big step back and she gives us a look like, you know, I don't want to compel you in the name of Christ, but I will if push comes to shove. And, and then the, the doors to the next elevator open and to a person, every single one of us just gestures to her and says like, yeah, go ahead. Somebody literally says, well, you look like you just got off a long flight. Go right ahead. And then she walks past all these frustratingly polite heathens and, 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 and as tempting as it was for three or four of us to pack in along with her and start muttering in pseudo Latin the whole way. We all managed to resist that urge and just let them go on their way. Right, but there was one other interaction on the elevator the following day that I wanted to mention, too, because on Sunday afternoon, I ran back into the golfer dude from the day before. We both wound up riding up to the 10th floor and, and I kind of assumed that it was going to be super awkward because let's face it, we're in DeSantis country now, but instead it was kind of awesome. He says, you know, I didn't know what to make of it when you said you were with an atheist conference. So I went down the hall this morning to check it out and I was really surprised. You guys are doing awesome work. We ended up chatting for like five minutes after we got off the elevator. He's a Christian in that sort of instinctual way that most Americans are, but he's not like a churchgoer or whatever. And I guess when I said atheist conference, he assumed it would be all about God bashing. 
But when he walked down the exhibitor's hallway, what he saw instead was a long line of people helping pack food for kids in poverty and a table raising money for access to reproductive care and a camp that focuses on teaching kids science and a group that offers legal aid to people who have been discriminated against on the basis of their religion and a charity that helps people recover from religious trauma and not a single table about God bashing. See, part of the reason that we do this is to remind people that we're there, right? It's about community building, yes, but it's also about visibility. And sometimes that visibility is a bit of a fuck you to the status quo, but only because our existence is a fuck you to the status quo. They've made sure of that. There's nothing we can do about it. But when we come together like this, it's a great opportunity to remind those people that we have more to say than fuck you that we're genuine people motivated by the same kind of sympathies and moral obligations as them, and that no matter how delicious they look, we're probably not going to eat their children.